sports guru and bud knocker. Call the show at 818-435-8423. And follow the show on Twitter at sportscast underscore THN. And now it's the sportscast. Welcome back, everybody, to the sportscast NFL game day show, show with my boys, Bud Knocker. Suck. Looking mighty sexy in his golf gear today. You liking that, huh? I am liking it. I am pumped for the tournament. Phil Mickelson ain't got nothing on Bud Hell Knocker. No. And my boy, the best producer in the game, Johnny Icebox on the ones and twos. Yeah, 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 the yeah. show. He's enjoying his time off lately, playing a little golf himself, getting yeah. warmed up for the sports oh, cast. He's, he's out purchasing new clubs. Yeah. And shit. I walk in his house, this guy's polishing clubs. I know. That's the first thing you see That's is his That's not his bag. dick. He's actually polishing his clubs. Okay? <laughs> see his bag, new clubs, yeah. and shit. He's taking this seriously. He was swinging so hard today that he broke his driver. He That's literally what broke I heard. his driver. That's what I heard. He's prepping for the God, tourney. Superman. Everybody's playing for second place seriously johnny <laughs> might love well, it. We, you might have to I give did, everyone I a did. handicap I, for johnny I, I came to play i came to play i came to play, came to play. <laughs> i'm glad to have everyone back though uh, back here in the icebox studios uh you guys can call the show yeah. today 818-435-8423 it's been a little hit and miss i mean when we're doing a show when we're, we're not back what's up, what's we're up, gonna what's be up, on thursdays what's up, what's up, what's up? we're gonna be on thursdays this month of july mm-hmm. uh heading into football season we'll have a lot going on we're only boys. We're like literally only a month away. I can smell it. Like literally, we're only a month away from having our Sundays back. You know, not going to Bed Bath and Beyond and Home Depot and doing all the bullshit that our women ask us to do. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Just because there's, there's football's not on doesn't mean I gotta go to Bed Bath and Beyond and Target. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I've seen you. I've seen your. I saw that bag downstairs. It's all a Bed Bath and Beyond, uh, Beyond bag downstairs. I'm wondering about that. <laughs> I am. Uh, we got a special guest though coming in today's show. Um, our boy gonna be out uh, at the golf tournament. Our guest host Mark Long will be checking in about six ten. Uh, Beyond, <sighs> yeah. Easy ladies, easy. easy ladies. Oh wait, we just wet a lot of panties. Easy okay, ladies. A lot of panties. Uh, he'll be with us though. Uh, from about 6.10 to 6.30. I know, That's ladies. That's right. And uh, we're going to talk about the golf tournament, talk about a little Philadelphia Eagles with him as well, and just shoot the shit because he's our boy and we just haven't talked to him in a while. So Mark Long will be back with us. Uh, also, we'll be talking about uh, NFL coming in. Uh, what players are on the brink of just having that season where they it's make or break for them, okay? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to throw it to you guys. we got a little bit of power rankings, top five coming in as well. Uh, also... I know, Knocker, you don't want to hear about it. Nope. And did you see the tweet that someone sent out um, uh, for you, the picture that was saying that you're done with Bron Bron talk? You mm-hmm. check our Twitter account, uh, Knocker. you got to see the picture. Um, oh, I did see it. You like it? I did see it. Samuel Jackson? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's how I am. If I hear don't, one more LeBron talk, I'm done. Don't want to hear it. Someone's going to die. <laughs> Seriously, uh, but LeBron, we're gonna. I'm gonna set down what's gonna happen, Knocker, and these okay. are gonna be factual statements. This I'm calling it? It out. This is it. So just enough of the NBA talk. We're not gonna talk any more NBA, NBA talk because this is what's gonna happen. You going Swami? I'm going, going Swami. Karnak? I'm calling it. Right. And just I'm sticking to football for now. Done. I'm done with it. I'm I done with it. the off season craze. Uh, you guys can tweet the show at Sportscast underscore THN as well, uh, or call us 818-435-8423. I know uh, we had a show on Tuesday, but uh, I know we were gone on July 4th break. Uh, Johnny, where were you at? Because I haven't seen you since last week. I talked to Knocker on Tuesday, but what did you do over the 4th? I went down to my cousin's. Uh, He's got a place that's like right... It's like right on Superior. I don't know if anybody knows where well, New- everyone in Newport know, Beach. If you're from California, yeah, you know where yeah. Superior is. Yeah. yeah, you know Superior. There's like two ways to get into Newport. For yeah. sure. On 4th of July weekend, and that's Superior. Doing a lot of doing a lot of that down yeah, there. Yeah, I know yeah. that happens. Just people watching. You know, I mean, okay. it's very interesting. And uh, I I really just sat on a porch, and people watched all day. Because his, his it's the porch best, was right it? on Superior. Isn't that the fucking best? People walking by. Yeah. Riding their bikes. Saw some guy just... In a speedo with a flash, what? One of those flash masks. Like the, I like Mark Sanchez, the cartoon character. <laughs> I right. just saw one of these the other day. These things he's talking about—they're like, uh, I guess I have. They're like condoms. the wrestling. They're like dick condoms. What? You're talking about these new? I thought you were talking about these new bathing suits that these Europeans are wearing, where it literally there is, is not a speedo. Thing, there is like a thing right now for that is called dick condoms. Is that what it is? No, but that's an actual product. Oh, it is. Yeah, didn't know that. Yeah, but these new bathing suits, knocker the Europeans wearing, I'm not down with it. Really? They they're not going from the they're cutting off like the speedo and going to like thong and just 
Like what? What what, fl- what flea would They're wear on the, the chili peppers? Strap? Yeah, like flea on chili peppers okay. with the sock over. Yeah, basically that. Wow. Don't need to see I any of that. I couldn't handle that. Don't need to see if any of that. If I was in Newport Beach, I'm looking at honeys, and this guy's coming around on rollerblades. Don't need to see any of that. With that flinging out there. I didn't see that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see I'm not doing that. But that's what I did. Okay. Knock that away. sounds like a great time. Man. I was at the river. I know people we talked about. Right, right, I was right. at the river, almost started a fire. So that's yes, how my... Yes, uh, the campground down. <laughs> it's nice. You and, you're and you Mr. Camper. I am Mr. Camper. You are Camper. Mr. Outdoorsman. Ah, I did it. I'm so bad yeah, at camping. Yeah, that's you, right? I'm so bad at camping. It really is horrible. I really am like, ah. hey, but I could send an email. You can't, Knocker. I could send an email, and you can't. Uh, Knocker, where were you over the weekend? Uh, like I said, I went to uh, Oceanside. Oceanside, that's right. You I fucking oh, bloody yeah. married out. Bloody married yeah. out like a uh, mother. Then, Knocker, uh, you're getting it on with Wendy this week, and you told me. When my mom calls me up, and she says, oh, I'm like, hey, what did you do for 4th? House River? I was like, oh, it's good. What would you do? She's like, I got it on with your dad in Oceanside. I'm like, what? <laughs> no. Yeah, buddy. That did not just happen that, here. That happened. That We're happened like, more yeah, than once. We did, we heard we slept on the couch. It was so, actually really romantic. We heard the water. The water. Wa- you hear the waves and crashing. The wind. And the wind. It was beautiful. And we caught, absolutely I, I know. unbelievable. Tell me about it. Tell me. This absolutely is my mother. Like I want to hear this. We food gasmed. We vodka gasmed. <laughs> and we orgasmed. <laughs> Absolutely. It was a gasmic weekend. <laughs> oh, that deserves a chabby. <laughs> uh, That's what that weekend was, dude. That's what that weekend was. <laughs> Seriously. After dinner, it was, uh, I know. After uh, Bloody Marys and martinis, uh, good stuff. And after knocking boots, uh, it's on, man. God, but you know what? I have to audio. admit, you yeah. know, when you see those Viagra commercials, yeah. I know you don't listen because you guys are too young, right? <laughs> or the Cialis. Right? But they put, Cialis. No, no, no. But, but they put that disclaimer out where, where they say, Check with your doctor to see if your heart is, is it can take it. Right, can take it. Right. They ain't lying. Why? They're not lying. What you took it? Cause no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Don't there are times where Wendy turns me out, I literally think I'm gonna die. <laughs> are we here? I literally think Johnny, I'm gonna die. What just happened on this show right I can't, now? I can't breathe. I can't stand. It, it takes me a few minutes to recover. So that when they're saying that. They're not joking. You could die in the saddle. Easily. I told him to suck my ball. <laughs> you really disturbed me for about the last 30 <laughs> seconds. I think Johnny's kind of speechless too right now. I don't know how to react to that. But I'm serious. I'm serious. You reach a certain age, it takes a lot out of you. Okay. I mean, you come up breathless. The more you know. The more you know. <laughs> I had that one there. Seriously. I'm just saying it was a rocking weekend. It was. Yeah. Um, again, guys, want to take your calls. We're talking Lana NFL um, just after you go with Mark Long. She'll be with us in just a few minutes. Um, NBA, though, like I said, let's get break it down real quick. In the get it NBA. over let's with. Let's get it over with, right? Okay. God, why? LeBron Bron. My Bron Bronny. Sleep in his jersey. I wear his shoes. I have his app. And Brom Brom, I'm telling you folks right now. Heard it here first. This is going to be my bold predictions of 2014 right now. Mm-hmm. Give me a little background here, Johnny. Um, bold predictions here. Now, so can we just get it out of the way? Because I don't want to hear any more NBA free agent stuff. This is what's going to happen. Okay. Okay? Thank you. This is how good I am right here. Here we go, Knocker. First one up, Brom Brom, as stated today in a lot of different sources, um, there has already been a 100% commitment, according to some sources, that he is going back to the Cavs. Absolutely. He uh, left the meeting with Miami. Uh, you had a little bit of input on that as well with Miami and their ownership group coming to them, basically saying, hey, this is the heat against the Cavs. LeBron, what are you going to choose? Like, you got to impress me a little more than that if I'm the heat. Yeah, you're only the heat because yeah. I was here, yeah, bitches. thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Pat Riley. I know you're good. But you ain't got the tradition of the Celtics Ex- or the Lakers. There's only two thank franchises. You. That can make that statement. And I'm sick of carrying Dwayne Wade's ass. Right. But seriously, in the NBA, there's only two franchises that can make that statement. The Lakers and True. the Celtics. True that. Not Every true. other one, I your agree. newcomers, your newbies, your new money, you're not blue blood. Shut the fuck up. I made the heat. The Thank heat you. did not make me. Well said. Bam. Okay, so you with me. We've said it before. We've sure. been calling this for the From last year. From day one. From day one. When Ron's he opted out, back. day one. He's going back. Uh, he actually just left. There's reports that he just left Vegas on a flight back to Cleveland. When he's actually supposed to go to Brazil to watch the World Cup game, so mm. it's going to be interesting to see what happens. We got we got Mark on the line. Let's bring him in. Let's just gentlemen, gentlemen, oh. how are we doing, Mr. Mark Long? <laughs> you lie, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just you're going to love this. 
I just checked my direct messages that you guys sent me. Yes. And you left you left off the last digit. So I <laughs> called every digit. <laughs> You're a dick, Josh. Seriously, did I really? I want to check serious? my Twitter if I did if that. It only see. took me hey, <laughs> It only it. took me three digits. Right, zero, right, because it's because it's three. It only took you three chances, so that's good. At least it wasn't the eight, right? <laughs> Marky Mark, I am right, sorry exactly. about. I am sorry about that, my brother. Uh, glad to have no, you back. No, because though. dude, I read it. I read it. Wrote back. Hey, sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just a bunch uh, of idiots up in here. We are yeah, I'm yeah, king. Buddy. up in the ice box. But again, we got Mark Long on the line. Check him out at, at the Mark Long on Twitter. Uh, the co-founder of Pocket Protein. Man, this stuff is blowing up, Mark. I uh, want to plug it a little bit because oh, you've been all over the place. We're How, trying. How is it going? I'm, I'm, I'm working hard, dude. You guys see me. I'm all over the place. No, you're uh, all about work. Appearances. I'm proud of you. I'm going to retail. I'm doing charity stuff. So I'm, I'm really trying to make it successful and we're on a good path. I think, guys, it's very exciting. I think we're going to launch in some stores in Rouse in, in October. Wow. Nice. Nice. So wow. we'll be local, too. So that'll be right. great. That's awesome. Yeah, because we have people hit us up all the time for it. I'm glad it's been blown up for you because, you know, we love you, man. And uh, we're glad all the success is coming with Pocket Protein. We're going to be out at the golf tournament August 16th, my boy. Pocket Protein will be on every yeah. golf course. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Uh, how's your golf yeah, game? Because I see one... you posting pics. Your golf game, you're practicing. I mean, you really are. Here's the deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, since we're being very transparent, here's how this happens. Here we go. So you guys asked me. I said, absolutely. So then uh, my irons that I had were horrible. They were flex, so I would swing them, and they'd literally be like a boomerang. I'm For sure. It's like an 85-year-old man. Exactly. Using so them I went and got things. me some I went and got me some steel shafts. Oh, I went and got a new driver, a uh, new putter. So I think – uh, and I recruited three of my real good friends. So I think we got a good squad. And like you said, I'm going to have a foil pack in, in every guy's golf cart. And so each one awesome, will get one buddy. for sure. Oh, and uh, I'm, 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 I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm coming to take take the belt. Oh. Are, you guys, are you guys scared? Do you fear it? I don't know, Mark. John, I don't Johnny, know, buddy. Johnny's got something to say about that. I don't know. I got a pretty good tan because I've been going out quite a bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did you guys hire any ringers to play on your team or no? Uh, no, we're actually we're no. gonna we're gonna be separate. But the ringers gonna be out there. Is actually Joel De La Yeah, Hoya. Joel. Joel is the ringer because he's pretty much a scratch golfer. I mean, he's three he's three seventy off the tee. Are you guess what I was gonna do? But I saved you guys. <laughs> one of our athletes, one of our pocket protein athletes, is Tim Burke. He's the 2013 Remax Long Drive champion. Oh great! He drove, oh, the ball oh, four, great. Yeah. He drove it 428 yards. Are you kidding me? Hey, you know what, Mark? That's, you know what, wow. Mark? Mark, literally. What's that? Um, I I chose this course. Because it's very long and very and it's wide open for so the average golfer won't lose golf balls and get frustrated. But your guy, oh, that's your guy's gonna love this because I mean the par threes, other than the closest to the pin, the other par threes are um, one seventy and above. He's There's like, like bring out the pitch and wedge. It's two hundred. They've got a five hundred and sixty-five yard par five that this guy's gonna love. Wow. Yeah, he's gonna well, love this course. Deal. I. I... I, I spare. I did not invite him. He's in Scottsdale training, so then I have an average, pretty decent crew coming, <laughs> and I saved you guys Tim Burke. Tim is literally when he hits. I'll send you guys. I'll actually tweet you guys a video when we're done. Yeah. When he hits the ball, it sounds like a jet engine going yeah, off. Yeah, that's crazy. awesome. That's isn't, hey, Mark, isn't that bitching when when a guy like that hits the ball in the first hundred yards? It's like ten yards off the ground, and then it just explodes yeah. like afterburners <laughs> yeah. and goes another three hundred. It's, it's insane, and they do it. They do it in Las Vegas at a speedway, and they build a ramp. <laughs> it looks awesome. It looks really cool, ah, dude. It's, it's really great. It just, that is great. It but, up. yeah. Again, guys. I'm excited to fight. You know who I, hey, you know who I saw and gave her shit was Nikki. I, oh, saw, I went to this oh, um, yeah. bench warmer event, and I saw Nikki there. I never met her before. So I introduced myself, and she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, um, you play in this golf tournament. She's like, I'm meaning to get back to them. So... Uh, obviously, you know we got to get on that. Up great, yeah, but, we got to uh, get on. I did mention you guys and give her shit for it. Awesome. You're the best. Thank you, Mark. We love You're you for best. that. Now we have a problem here. We we've had to hire extra security because we've had a long list of ladies who just yes. want to follow your group in golf carts. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to get a waiver. Get here. We're trying to get a waiver yeah. for the Mark Long Ensemble. I'm we not bet, sure if we yeah. can get it done. 
but there's a long waiting well, list. Well, here's the deal. You know how you know how rock stars they have a, what's it called a rider? Yeah. They get a rider exactly. where like, they request stuff in their. T- right. My rider for the girls <laughs> that if they do show up and follow, all have to be in bikinis. That's okay. the number one. Rider. Okay. Okay. We'll, okay. We'll, we'll put that bikinis, information out there. I think I think bikinis, UGG boots, <laughs> and just. Ready to serve cocktails to all the guys. Oh, oh my boy. I love Th- thank that. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> my wife would never allow this. But if I say you're, you're, you're you, I want you to want be it. like the, the thank Swedish you. bikini model team I, following us all over. Like you that. are a godsend. That is. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we've actually had requests. People that, hey, man, I just want to, can I rent a cart and just go drive just around? Drive and have around. Fun and drink? I just like, want to drive we'll around. Just want to drive around. Try and swing that by the course. But oh, good. that's awesome. So, good hey, how many people do you think are playing? Well, we tried to limit, sorry, Josh, we tried to limit it to 48 groups because unfortunately they won't let us do a shotgun start um on a saturday so it's in line so we didn't want the first group teeing off and then the last group to be two hours behind them so we're, we're trying to keep it to about 48 to 52 56, people yeah, 56 uh, so top. it's 12 gotcha. to 12 to gotcha. 14 foursome so when the first group finishes they'll have a, a, a wait time of like an hour hour and 25 minutes tops waiting for the last group to finish yeah. but there'll be plenty of refreshments of for those people yeah, of uh, you know yeah. awesome <laughs> the wait yeah. will so be about, bad there's about there's about 48 to 50 people that are going to be playing yes yeah. 48 to oh, 52 at least, yeah. yeah at least mm-hmm. yeah so it's going to be fantastic and, 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 okay yeah. gotcha, gotcha. and yeah. they're closing I'm gonna fast send, people i'm going to send product to you guys and i want it to get that figure so i'll okay. send an uh, ample amount of uh, send okay, it for cool. 56 because we're going to max out if we get enough we're going to max out at 56 yeah, players we're going to max out it's our okay yeah okay. so, so there's your number it's right good. there i'm excited man i've been like i said i've been practicing we're doing a little mini scramble in florida uh on the 28th of july Check you out. i'll get loosened up i'm no, playing with marcus awesome. jordan who's uh, Michael Jordan's son. Oh, right. awesome. Uh, Good who times. Else is playing? Do you guys remember a football player named Booger McFarlane? No. That is a fantastic. Booger, that's a, Booger <laughs> McFarlane. That's fantastic. Yeah, he played for Florida, and then I think he played in the NFL. Of course, like he's from years. Florida. Only, know. only a mother from Florida. I know you're from Florida. Florida, Florida thing. Thing. That's but awesome. Only a mother from Florida. No, I don't remember Booger. Booger. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Booger uh-huh. McFarlane. What a okay. great name. That's fantastic. But, uh, awesome. I okay. love it. Okay, yeah, guys. I'm gonna try to hit up Marcus Jordan and get awesome. his dad on board somehow. Yeah, get me. You know, his dad's got fifty grand laying in his yeah. You think somewhere? You think? Oh my God! Wouldn't that be something if Michael fucking Jordan? Jordan shows yeah. up to the sports Mark, Mark cast Long shows up. Yeah, I got my other. My, I got my, my friend here. Yeah. You might know him. Meet Michael. <laughs> Meet him too. Oh, that would be such a scene. That uh, would be again, great. guys, but we're, we're you're t- gonna love my. You're gonna love my team. Awesome. It is good stuff. One of the guys looks like Ronnie from Jersey Shore. The <laughs> other guy looks like he's a mini mob boss. And then I have a big one of my big black guy friends. He's awesome. Oh, see, that's and they're fantastic. All great that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. gonna awesome. be a good time. Uh, Mark, I want. I know you got to run by six thirty, so I want to get a little bit of NFL talk with you. Um, I know you got the Eagles uh, as your team, Philadelphia boy, and we just talked about Josh Gordon, you know, getting busted over the weekend, uh, getting arrested once again. This guy's already been on probation so many times, and that brings me to Deshaun Jackson. Uh, I know he's a, you know, obviously a viable point uh, teammate to your team, uh, your big gun down the field wide receiver. Uh, Chip Kelly decides to let him go. What are your thoughts on letting like a player like Deshaun go and, and these other players like Josh Gordon? When's enough enough with how many times his kid's, kid's going to get busted? Well, here's the deal with Deshaun. Deshaun is Deshaun is is great, but I think the day to day is what really drove Chip Kelly nuts. I mean, I just think he's he's kind of like a, I think he was kind of leaning to like a Terrell Owens in, in the locker room, kind exactly. of spoiling the of the locker room a little bit. So totally I think for the betterment of the crew, they let him go. I mean, I think he's still going to be awesome. Would I love to have him still in the Eagles? Absolutely. It made me feel a little better when we got Sproles because I think he's going to be really uh, great for Big us. Big time. Um, yeah. mm. But I just. I just, I just think with what Chip Kelly does, you can plug and put in lots of you know talented people, and you're still going to get the same results. So hopefully, we'll see. If they just you know some of the new receivers that they hired and the rookies. So we'll, I mean that they drafted. So we'll see what happens. But I just I don't know, man. I don't like. I grew up with it. You know when I played football back in the day. We had a couple of loose cannons in the locker room. It just always sucked having them around because every yeah. time they'd come in, they'd just suck the energy out and they were negative. So I could see what his point is. But Josh Gordon, man, I mean, he was set up to really succeed in that yes, new team. God, yes. What they're doing in that new team. So, I mean, that's just – what an idiot. That's all I yeah. can say. You should think guys that should have a what an idiot button because a lot of these guys <laughs> are like, what were they thinking? Yeah. I, hey, to your point, Mark. So yeah, I'm, uh, wait, 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 wait. Can we just get Mark to say it, and then we'll we'll turn that yeah, into the yeah, drop? Yeah, Mark, go ahead and say it. We're going to turn it into a drop. Go ahead. Good. 
he doesn't know what you want him what to do you want oh, me to say oh what, what an idiot yeah. what an idiot oh you ready but tell me when go ahead what an idiot there we go. I'll, I'll work with that. I'll oh, work with that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it. Wish we had an idiot. Button. Oh, give me. Let me yeah. do one more. Let right, me right, do one more. Right, idiot right, button. Right, 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 one more. Ready? Yeah. What an idiot! There we go. Yeah, I like that. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Like that. We'll have that, that as, a, as a guest for the week. Hey, um, to your point, I think Chip Kelly is a lot like the hoodie. Um, with with his offense and what 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 the hoodie does oh, yeah. what does in New England, and that's why Deshaun didn't fit. You know, dude. My system is going to work. I just need talented players, and talented players are a dime a dozen. Yep. And and I can right. I can replace you if you're a distraction. And that's why Oregon was so good. They just recruited just talent and talent and talent. And and if you don't want to play, then then I just get someone else, bro. Nobody is repl- irreplaceable. Yeah. And that's I think where Deshaun got caught up in in the mix. Yep, I absolutely agree. And, of course, I mean, will I miss that huge play occasionally when he catches a 60-yard sure. touchdown? Absolutely. But I think other guys that are talented and that are, are skilled can do, just like you said, can be plugged in and do just as much and have just as much success. So yeah. we'll see. And the last thing that you want is Deshaun as a five-, six-year veteran taking the young guy that's a rookie or the two-year man and say, hey, man, come on with me, man. Let's check this shit out. Yeah. Or come on, hey, man, let's go here after yeah. practice. Or let's go here after the game and fucking that guy up mentally, you, you know, as far as that goes. You just don't need it. You don't need cancers anymore. And I think the NFL's doing a pretty good job of filtering those guys out. I think you're right, man. And speaking of, you know, off-the-field shenanigans, I watched an hour special again on the Aaron Hernandez story. Oh, Holy my God. Holy yep. Scary, scary stuff. I mean, it, it was like really really interesting yeah it just scary. the more that you was... peel the the weirder and, right. and more scary well, and, it gets and we'll huh? continue with the off field stuff I, I want to get your opinion as well again we're talking with mark long gonna be with us hosting the mark, the mark long. long hosting a, our august oh, 16th yeah. golf tournament <laughs> uh mark johnny manzel i love this kid i know there's a lot uh, of haters people are on other, you know different i i'm probably guessing you're on the other side of the fence this guy i know he's got a lot of off the field issues you know going out with pretty girls partying in vegas but I just can't wait to see his kid on the field. How do you think Johnny Manziel does in his first season? Oh, you're preaching to the choir here, my man. <laughs> I love everything about Johnny so Manziel. I. I can't wait. I'll actually rush home and beat up my mailman to get through the door to watch the <laughs> preseason. I'm Falcon. sure he appreciates that. <laughs> so that's how excited I am. I hope he does well. I mean, it, it, it seems like, obviously, he does the extracurricular shenanigans. I know he's a big UFC fan. I see him popping up at those fights all the mm-hmm. time in Vegas. But I think I think if he learns the playbook, he's skilled in that and, and comfortable with that, that um, structure of the team. I mean, talent is talent. I think he's going to... Preseason is going to be great for him, too, because he's going to just be able to let loose, and, and I don't think he's going to have as much pressure as you would think. I really don't, but I hope I hope he does well. I'd love to see him starting um, first week, uh, which is yet to be seen, but he's going to be exciting, man. It's like when you tune in to watch an exciting fighter or an exciting basketball player. Yeah. I mean, half the, the interest is the excitement alone, and I'm tuning in especially just for that. I mean, I want to see the hype. I want to see, agree. you know, Johnny Manziel in interviews. I want to see him pregame. I want to see him in the huddle. Like, I want to see him. I want to see all that. Well, here, here's what I'm seeing. Uh, the, the, the NFL. No, Knocker's an old man. Just the N- well, and, and I'm going back. Is this is he about to, is he just about to take crap in the punch bowl? Yes, right he now? is. Thank you. Are you going to really pee on our parade? You know Mark knows our show Go because ahead, he knows what's it. coming. Ah, come ahead. on, Mark. Um, no, I really let's hear I, the let's hear the let's hear the, the the thought of the proverbial turd in the punch bowl. Wow, <laughs> I love it. Wow, what a I'm setup. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. <laughs> I love you. I'm no, this you. is this is what I what see. Is, what are your thoughts? They really haven't had a quote unquote controversial, flamboyant um, um, quarterback in this league since I'm, I'm going to go with Joe Willie, obviously with Joe Namath. And, yeah. and, and Joe Cap was that kind of kind of guy. I ain't taking no shit. I'm gonna do things my way. They really haven't had that at that quarterback position in a long time. And and I think the NFL, if he is successful, is just gonna explode even farther with a guy that just 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 does it on the field. I'm doing it my way. I'm not conventional. You don't like it too effing bad. 
but I'm bringing my talent here, and we're going to win, and I'm going to guarantee we're going to win. And I see a lot of that in that's Manziel. Why, that's why I like Colin Kaepernick right now. I'm telling you, I was telling Knock the other day, Mark. I mean, we're seeing the NFL right now. I love them to death, and they're, you know, future Hall of Famers, one of the greatest ever. Brady, Breeze, and Manning, they're on their way out. Yeah, they got a couple years left, but we're seeing the new regime of this young you know, athlete that's got, Absolutely. you know, uh, but at that uh, Johnny position, Manziel, flamboyance at that position. You've got Colin Kaepernick, all the tats, yes. wearing the backwards hat, pumping, you know, Russell Wilson, mm-hmm. yeah, he's got a good head and shoulder, you know, you've got luck. We're seeing a very big change right now in the NFL as far as the quarterback position is, is, is as far as that goes. I agree, and I, I mean, I, I, I hear what you're saying. The Mannings, the the, 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 the Bradys, the Drew Breeses, they're, they're going to have some great moments and great few more years, but... Right. I mean, you think about five, six, seven years from now, who's going to be really mm-hmm. the face of the NFL? It's going to be the Manzels and the Kaepernicks and all yeah. that stuff. So yeah. it's going to be great. It's yeah. the last. I mean, and, I, I, and forgot, I think. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mark. I forgot one guy to throw in there. Uh, Jim McMahon was was definitely. Yeah. You oh know, yeah. Uh, uh, to a oh, different yeah. drummer. Mm-hmm. It's going to be awesome, man. I mean, hey, for Cleveland, once yes. LeBron it's left Cleveland. and left yeah. them to dry, they needed someone like this, man. He's like. He's the second coming for them. I hey, think imagine be LeBron's the coming town. back. Mark. I haven't had a second coming in a long time. Oh, never mind. I did. <laughs> oh never God, mind. you think? Never mind, Mark. <laughs> hey, I'll give you guys. Listen to this. Listen, quick Go. little story. I'm driving on the freeway yesterday, and our radio DJ comes on and goes, "Hey, breaking news! Carmelo Anthony is going to sign with the Lakers." And yeah. I was like, "Oh, that's awesome!" So then one song plays, and he comes back and he's like, "Sorry, guys, that was a false alarm." And I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carmelo's going yeah, to sign Carmelo's up with the Knicks. Carmelo's signing back to New York. Yeah, but, he's not leaving. Uh, Mark, Carmelo's appreci- going to New York, yeah. and LeBron's going to go to the Heat, don't you think? No, I think LeBron's no. going to Cleveland. LeBron's I think going Cleveland's to Cleveland. Gonna Get have, out of here. Really? Yeah, he is. Get out of here. Couple Done big, deal, Mark. Couple if he big does, sources, that is yeah. going to be so great. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. A couple big sources today came out and said they're pretty 100% sure that he's going back to Cleveland. So, Mark, I appreciate you coming on. Real quick, I got a question on Twitter for you. It says, can you ask the Mark Long if it is time for Johnny Bananas to retire on top at the (laughs) MTV Challenge? (laughs) No, I'm going to give you – no, no way. And here's why. I actually was with Johnny – I was with Johnny two days ago, and we filmed uh, a Uh, huge workout workout (laughs) video. And I had a long talk with him. We're going to post it. I'll send it to you guys. You'll love it. We did some real archaic caveman workout. Pretty sick. Um, not only is Johnny Bananas going to not finish on top, I'm talking about me going back one more time oh, and riding yeah. or dying. With yeah. Him. yeah. You heard it here Good first. news. So, Breaking news from the so Mark that's, Long. Yeah. That's awesome, Mark. So my answer to that is no, absolutely not. He's absolutely not done yet. And don't be surprised when I show up and him and I are on the same team. Damn, yeah, buddy. Mark, Mark's coming in hot. He's going to be like, you got not the fuck out, man. Get out. You got not <laughs> Bitch. Hey, Mark, we appreciate it, buddy. I, I, know, it. I know you got to run. Thank you again. We can't wait to see you in a month at a golf tournament. And, uh, you know, as hey, always, you're always excited. welcome. I'm super pumped. I'll get, I'll get those you guys off off uh, air and get Keep you the talking to Nikki. Stuff, but super pumped, man. I'll be pumped to put it up. All Keep right, talking buddy. to Nikki, Mark. We, Keep we, talking guys, to Nikki. Yeah. We appreciate it, Mark. Love you, man. Thank you. At the, uh, I follow him at the Mark Long, man. He is our boy. I love that guy. He just brings it every Dude, time Dude, I would love to have, him. like, one-third of love his, his energy. energy. I My agree. God. But we got another phone call coming in real quick. All right, we got to go break. Let's take the phone call. Hey, I like the colonel, though. Hey, hell yeah. Nikki Lee playing golf with the Bud Knocker at the Sportscast Golf Tourney. That would be awesome. You love think? That. Yep. You think? Like it. All Might right. risk divorce for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Who we got on the phone? <laughs> phone call. Uh, it's uh, Daniel the Giants fan. Ah! Where have you been? Hey. Mark Long to the Giants, man. <laughs> I had, oh. I had, to, I had to call in right before you went to break. I just want to know, Drew, how depressed are you already? Because your Cowboys are literally going to suck donkey assholes. <laughs> donkey right, asshole. I'm kind of glad he called in. <laughs> you are one pathetic loser. Well, you know what, Giants fan? Question. I'm playing. You got no one. You honestly have no one. You have no players. You got like Romo, and that's even shootier than having no players. Wow. This guy comes out of his mama's basement after six months to finally call the show today. Hey, at least he called. At least he came up. Breathe, breathe breath of fresh air. You know air what? Right like here. I told Knocker, I'm playing for draft picks this year. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you're gonna get a lot of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of them. Well, what do you, what do you Giants got? Yeah, seriously, you're bringing a bunch of heat here. What is your team bringing to the well, table? You got the little okay, brother okay, of Peyton okay. Manning. Okay. Oh. As you know, as you know, as you know, Eli Manning is not a Tom Brady. He needs a running back. We just picked up Rashad Evans. We just picked up Rogers Cromarty. We just picked up the, the backup center for the Broncos. All of our offensive line are healthy. We have Pierre Paul, Kiwanuka, Beeson. We got everyone, man. We're, we're stacked. We're good to go. We just got a new wide receiver in the draft. We're well, ready. Well, hey, the Cowboys signed as backup quarterback. Who did they sign? Who did they sign? Brandon Whedon. I, they signed I Brandon know, I, Whedon, I, I, bro. I, we're in. Yeah. <laughs> I think I like Orton better. Miss. I'm shot. I just shot you, Giants fan. You got nothing to say, Josh. Got, he just, just threw just, out about eight yeah, names yeah. on you, and uh, you got nothing. Uh, well, we let go of Demarcus Ware, and um, <laughs> and we lost a lot of other players, but we'll be back. Oh, hey, and Sean Lee's hurt all year. Yeah. That's going to help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, that guy's a freaking poon man. Who blows out their ACL like the second day of And, and Des Bryant has to be in by 10 p.m. because he still has a curfew. <laughs> Yeah, good, man. Oh, thank you, Giants awesome. That's fan. That's an awesome call right Great there. Great call, buddy. We got to go to break. We appreciate you checking in once again. I can't wait till football season. We'll get some bets going. You know that. Oh. All right, for sure. All right, buddy. We appreciate it, man. Thanks for calling in. Thank All you, right, buddy. guys, when we get back from check break. Check the ferret. Yeah, we, yeah check the <laughs> ferret. Because that doesn't even sound right. Check the ferret. <laughs> Johnny did that a couple minutes ago in the bathroom. Whoa! But, hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. When we get back, we got Shot of the Week Award. Yes, we do. Uh, make sure you guys call on the show, 818-435-8423. Thank you, Mark Long, once again. And uh, you guys can tweet us at sportscast underscore THM. We got Shot of the Week Award and a lot more NFL right after this.
Welcome back to the Sports Cast NFL Game Day Show. We are literally a month away from football season, folks. Fantasy football, we get the draft going up real soon. Uh, this We're going to do the same way as last year. I think I'm going to do ping pong balls this year, Knocker. I'm going to get ping pong balls, whoa, whoa. write their names I on it. I only caught ping. I'm going to do ping pong balls. I didn't hear the lead up. I'm going to do ping pong balls, write the names of everybody on it, and we're going to do a, literally a drawing on the show, like like uh, uh, like bingo kind of drawing. For? For the Sportscast Fantasy Football League. Oh, okay. I it's like that. the only that. way to do it, I think, legitimately the, the right way. way. Right. Except for Steve. Steve in Australia is automatically going to well, If you win, you get an automatic bid. Of course. It's like the Masters. You get yeah. an exemption. Of exactly. Course. And so we're going to do that. If you guys want to send us an email, thenewsportsguru at gmail.com, or you could tweet us, or there's a, you know, various ways. Just get a hold of us. We'll put you in the drawing. Uh, it's going to take place uh, probably in the next, I'd say, two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. So I want, I want to get a date set. I want to make sure everyone's in on it because I don't like people that are missing, especially like Labor Day is coming up. So I want to sure, get around Sure, sure, yeah. You don't want to do it on that and, weekend. Uh, of course, you guys, it's very competitive. We've got a great trophy going out for you guys as well. Uh, it's one of our favorite times of the years to do. Sportscast Fantasy Football League is fucking intense. It's the best. It's awesome. Like, it's the man's league of man's leagues. It is. It, it is. It's balls Johnny's deep. into it. It's I mean, balls Johnny's, deep league. That's when Johnny's like focused sure like right now he's probably looking at Pornhub or something right now he don't care he doesn't care he's scratching his but, nuts you know, and he's exactly off work. So, but when we get to football and football is going weekly and we do our picks like Johnny's in it yeah amazing yeah how, how in-depth he can actually get it is and he what is what is basketball <laughs> <laughs> what is this what thing is you call basketball? basketball football football it's football. not football he actually soccer I have to give him props. soccer he did bounce back quite nicely on his pickums last year okay pickums johnny did bounce back quite nicely you on the other hand knocker you need to stop going with all these upsets every week. You know, you, last you, last year you went for, oh, I'm going to be the guy that calls the upsets. How'd no, that work I'm out? going for the win this year. You're going for the shit. win? I'm going for the win this year. Okay, yeah. I hope you are. Yeah, I don't want to be embarrassed so again. So that will also be going our uh, pi our uh, Pigskin Pick'em League. That's fantastic. So that'll all be mm -hmm. up, guys, coming up in the next you know few weeks. So just stay tuned. Let's get to Shot of the Week Award brought to you by PW PWCI Construction. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. You can find them at pwconstructioninc.com. Again, pwconstructioninc.com. They are the official sponsor of the Shot of the Week Award. Sonny Marshall, we love you. I uh, wish you can come out to the golf tourney as well. But uh, make sure you guys check them out for all your building needs, construction, if you're in that type of line of business. you know, Or just give them a shout-out. Just say, hey, for thanks sure. for you know, sponsoring the yeah. Shot and the Shit of the Week yeah. Award. Even if, even if you're not calling them, just go to some place and be yeah. like, you know, Sonny sent me. Yeah, yeah. Sonny sent me. Sonny sent yeah. me, man. Yeah, just and say And then they say, what? Yeah. <laughs> be like, you know. <laughs> PWCI. Exactly. Don't you know who I am? Sonny send me. Exactly. Just get anywhere you go. Thank you, Johnny. Arby's. Arby's. Like Woolworths. Taco Bell. I'll get a PWCI with uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> on a hoagie. Doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, I just want to let you know, Sonny sent me. Sonny me, baby. Who? That's it. No, PWCI. Yeah, you know. From PW Thank you, Johnny. I like that. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Everybody knows Sonny. Come on, brother. Uh, come it's on. Sonny. Hey, it's Sonny. Everybody knows Sonny. You know Sonny. All right, Knocker, what did we pour today? What do we have in our glasses? Uh, we've got that uh, fireball whiskey shit. We got some fireball, My wife gets brun. like drunk off of constantly. God. Yeah, I think that's the closest thing to tequila on it the really, market right it, now. Yeah, it's like, all right, well, let's get to you real quick, Knocker. Uh, what do you got for Shot of the Week Award? Who are you giving it up to? Okay, I got two of them. Okay. Okay. I'll give you two. We've got... In the World Cup Finals, oh, okay, we've got Germany Germans. playing Germany 1A. Okay, and the reason I state this, if you're a historian, you know that all the Germans, at the end of the war, what country did they migrate to? Argentina. Okay, look at you with okay. your knowledge. So all I'm, right. I'm thinking half that Argentina team. Has German blood in him. Okay. So, so you're thinking that uh, there's a little uh, scandal going uh, well, no, on? No, huh? I'm just thinking that if you bet on the European winning the cup, Ooh. that you're going to be right, whoever, whichever team wins. All right, Doctor. <laughs> no, but, uh, you know, hey. Well, for, I got a lot of money on Germany, so let's go Germany. But, you know, but for the two teams to get through, it's 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 one of the toughest. It's If not the, it's one of the toughest tournaments to win okay. in the world. Um, there, there's so much pressure, so much going on. It's been a fantastic tournament. Again, I'm not going to get into the penalty kick. That was the other show, but yeah, don't, um, yeah, don't not going to do that. There. But for them to get there, um, I'm sure they're going to put on a great show. A oh, phone call. Oh, I thought you were saying hang loose. Um, so was I. I'm yeah. hanging loose, Johnny. <laughs> I got boxers on, dude. Give, give me the <laughs> phone call. All the other times that I've done that. <laughs> well, Josh saw it. it. Not the I didn't one know what time it meant. 
Yeah, I didn't my balls are already it. hanging over the edge Spring of the couch the here. Phone call. Who we got? Who you got? They're got... interrupting my shot. Yeah, well, it's worth They've it. They've actually been on hold for a little while. Oh, okay, oh, bring them on then. Bring them on. Who we got? The you know we hate cast. that. Caller. Hey, I could interrupt anything I want. That's right. Because <laughs> this is Jesus, and he Jesus! interrupts anything. Yes, you can always interrupt yes! anything, baby. Jesus has arrived. Thank you, Jesus. My Lord and Savior, how are you? Good, guys. Just call me Nan for the shot of the week. Yes, I like that. What do you What do you got this week for us, Jesus? I mean, there's. I mean, you're overlooking the whole world. You must have a lot yes. of good <laughs> Samaritans out there. But who Who you got today? The shot of the week goes out to you guys, man. For Whoa. always putting a good show on. Oh well, thank you. I appreciate that. Wow. I, wow! I did not expect that. I am humbled in the eyes of my Lord and Savior. Thank you oh so God. much. <laughs> Who the hell cares? I know no one does, but Jesus uh, does. Well, thank you, buddy. Look at I, I appreciate. Am I like an apostle now? What's the other that? reason I was coming is because you should have seen your uh, sports dog. You should have seen your uh, you should have seen your uh, face when the Giants fan called and they were talking about the Cowboys. <laughs> How disgusting you didn't look like to be a Cowboys fan. That's awesome. It's priceless. That's I awesome, know. Man. I know. I love my boys. Hey, where your Raiders are just in this? We're, we're basically in the same boat now. Well, As a easy. Cowboys fan, easy. I'm talking know. to God. I am talking easy. to God. Hey, you know what? You know what? I left the Raiders. All right, I jumped on Pete Carroll. I'll, I'll, I'll oh, say it. Seahawks, I'll say it. All right. I'm bandwagon. I'm a bandwagon type of man. Jesus is a bandwagon <laughs> fan. So awesome. I love that. that Jesus is, so is awesome. a bandwagon fan, everybody. So like are, are we to assume that divine intervention <laughs> had something to do with the Super Bowl win? Hey, something had to do with the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's I love fantastic, it, man. Jesus. Hey, um, hey, what's up with your pinstripers, man? I heard Tanaka had an injury, man. What's going on over there? Well, who? The, Yan the, the Yankees. Yankees. You're a Yankee fan, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> uh, Jesus. Oh! It's happening again. <laughs> <laughs> The, the Yankees are becoming a team that is just paying for old timers, and that's oh, all it is, man. It is. It's true, man. It's, fi it's finally wow. catching up to them. It really is. Hey, now the let Yankees me ask zone. you this seriously, Jesus. Um, it, it, it's it's kind of a conundrum because the All Star Game now actually decides who has home field advantage in the World Series, but the fans vote in the starting team. Derek do, Jeter now, should not be in the All-Star game. honestly, do you think Derek Jeter should be the start, starting shortstop? Come on, Jesus. Considering what's at stake in the All-Star game? As a baseball fan, <laughs> yeah, he's right. retiring. As a realist, no. Because there's a lot of stake. There's a lot of it right. at stake. Like I you agree. said, home field advantage. Yeah. So... He is, you know, right now he's not playing as much. You know, if he plays a night game, he's not playing a day game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. But I think you said it you right know, there, Jesus. At least you're honest. I, I'm glad yeah. that you answered that way because, you, you know, if you're if you're honest with it, no, he does he not deserve to be the starting shortstop. If this game shortstop. was just a showcase game like exactly, it used to be. Exactly, but it's not. It's fine. It's not anymore. And that's what Bud Selig's done. And that's why the system, as far as fan voting, is complete horseshit. So. Uh, but uh, hey, well, yeah, exactly. There's no point. Yeah, it's just no point. Exactly. There's no, There's no point, point. anymore. And uh, all right, Jesus. Well, hey, man, we appreciate you calling. We thank you for your shot, man. We really heartfelt. We appreciate you. I wish you could uh, make it out for the golf tourney. Yeah. We know we need to get a beer with Jesus one of these days. For sure. Well, I still owe him. I still hey, owe him some Jack Daniels. I haven't forgotten. Uh, I still owe you. No, no, no worries. I, I know USC season's yeah. coming up, so, you know, let's get ready for that. We can get together for that. I'm going to hold him a fucking barrel by yeah, that. Yeah, really. You're going to my keg of, you're going to my keg of whiskey. So. Hey, how about our Trojans, man? How are we going to do this year? All right, man. I'm, I'm going to have I have a lot of hopes for the Trojans this year. So we got boy. a young team, Steve Sark. good team coming up. Yep. So, you know, Sarkeesian, hopefully this kid knows how to – he's a good coach. You know, he did something good in Washington. Yeah, he did. Yep. You know, he brought him for, he, you know, he brought him from 
from a losing season to, to being able to contender. So, mm-hmm. you know, hopefully they keep it up and they keep the tradition going. I agree. Right man. on and right know, on. He, he, we're with him like, like how it goes. We're with him until he started losing. After yeah. that, <laughs> you know. Uh, I agree. Next, team, next coach. Jesus, I Right on and fight Jesus, on, buddy. I appreciate the call, man. We love right you on, as guys. usual. Uh, thanks for all the support. Keep spreading the word, buddy. Will do, man. You guys will be safe. All right. Thank you. Jesus is out. We just got a call from God. Seriously. How many I, shows can say that? Seriously. I was about to leave him on for longer. I didn't know how to, like, get God you off the line. Jesus on hold. You, know? you better say some, yeah. some prayers. If Jesus stays on hold for our show, that's pretty good. Seriously. He doesn't I mean, hold for anybody. Yeah, he doesn't hold for anybody. But he holds for the sports guy. That's right, baby. All right. Are you still have another shot coming up? Yeah, and this is going to be real quick. Okay, this is, go ahead. This is for my buddy Mark Candelar. Okay. Okay. One of the finest receivers to ever exist in high school football in the 70s. Okay. Played on the CIF champion Temple City Rams. Kicked our ass 40 to 14. So, um, his celebrating his birthday. He's 55. Old, old bastard like the rest of us. Like it. But I want to give him a shout out. Number 81 in your t- in your program. Number one in your hearts. Uh, here's to you, Mark. Uh, happy birthday to you and, uh, you know. Great hands. All right, Johnny Box. Uh, I'm going to make mine real quick. I spent a lot of time with my cousin this weekend. He's got a second kid coming on on his way, and I think it's going to happen probably this Saturday. Awesome. So um, I just want to give a big ups to him. I mean, Absolutely. he's got two kids now. I remember when we were little kids running around in this courtyard, and now you know we're both old, and, and uh, he's got another kid on the way. It's probably going to happen when we're playing golf this weekend. Cool. Okay. Healthy and, baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so what it's all about. So congratulations. I agree. Right. Cool. Right. Couple awesome. Shot, to you. Couple, a couple shots on Twitter real quick from at, at Peppy Pants. says, my shot of the week goes to my little man, eight years old tomorrow. See? Uh, so good. Uh, sponsored by PWCI. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, and the Colonel checks in too, huh? Colonel checks in too. Goes out to the uh, Eric. How's that? Amarola. Am- Amarola for winning Daytona. Uh, on the anniversary of Petty's 200th win, so yeah. hashtag 43 the king. I yeah, appreciate baby. all the Love shots. That. So we'll th- throw those out there. Uh, my shot's going to go out to for the Mark Long for just being awesome and calling in the show, showing up for our golf tournament. I mean, this guy supported us from day one. Yes. And I'm glad for him with Pocket Protein because, you know, I'm glad you're everything's blown up for him because Absolutely. That's, it's freaking awesome. The guy's a really good guy. Follow him at the Mark Long. Uh, so that's good shots yeah, this pick week, up guys. Some pocket so, protein. All right, and pick up Pocket Protein at Pocket Protein on Twitter. So shots up, PWCI, <laughs> right here. God, this is going to hurt. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That tastes like a cinnamon. It's not um, good to miss wi- whiskey with vodka. Like, I have a, I'm chasing whiskey with that's vodka. That's the cinnamon um, Jolly Rancher right there. That was awesome. So good. It is, isn't it? Right. That was really good. Let it out. Ah! 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 Ejaculate. Ejaculate, people. It's football season. Chubs, 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 no, chubs, not. chubs. Uh, You're jumping uh, ahead. Uh, uh, You're oh, jumping I, ahead. I'm always pre- premature ejaculating. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Set it up. I'll uh, hit it. It's not, it's not yet. Not yet. It's not premature, yet. just like there, me. We're there, we're <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, also, oh, coming up tonight, we got a new uh, ice box. Oh, we do. Coming huh? up at 7:30, Johnny. Awesome. Yeah, if Seven... Renee gets a hold of me, yes, yes. Uh, okay, 7:30. Yeah, we'll at, if not, uh, we're going to the range. At luckyicebox.com. Yep, there we go. Right, Johnny? Exactly. Exactly. Kind of hoping he doesn't call me. Yeah, the range. <laughs> oh man! All right, uh, I just got a tweet, uh, uh, text from my. Are brother. we doing selfies? No, uh, yeah, we, oh. we did selfies last week. I got a text from Daniel, my brother. Right. He's watching the show. He says, "Gay ass cup, bitch." He's watching me with my Cowboys cup. Yeah. He's a giant. Wow, bro! Wow, our bro. fans don't miss a thing, do Lo- they? Love you, bro. <laughs> You're only gonna get 15 bucks this week for washing the vans, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, buddy. You should have told him after. I should have. Mistake. All right, guys, real quick. That's all you pay him? No. (laughs) I buy him lunch, too. (laughs) All right, guys, I'm going to find, I'm trying to find my uh, DTM or Destiny clip real, real quick. God, I don't have him looking. Thank, Thank you, dead you. air. I know, dead, dead air. air. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. It's Gene, Gene, the dancing machine. God, never mind. That's all right. <laughs> DT or Destiny, real quick, guys. Uh, I've right. got a list of ten players here. Okay. Uh, as we finish up the show, which NFL players have the most to lose this year? I mean, these guys are on the brink of really. Yeah. Losing their job, are we going to forget about them? Like they've had their time, they broke into the league. There's a few. Yeah, these there's next two few. years are transition years for the NFL. There's no First doubt about it. First one up here, my boy. I can't stand. He's probably the worst 
quarterback, I think, in the NFL. Andy Dalton, wow. overrated. Andy Dalton worst here. Worst in the NFL? I wouldn't say worst. i say he's in the bottom 10. I'm sick of this guy. He's had wow. so much talent around him well, for true. so many years and mm-hmm. not performed in big games. To lose that game last year in the playoffs at home. Not to lose, to play yeah. like shit. You like Brazil. Yes. Like with Germany. That's how bad you were Yeah, being. it was horrible. <laughs> oh, 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 that's how we go. I'm going with Andy <laughs> Dalton. Uh, I think this year's make or break. I mean, it's over, right? I mean, I said this two years ago. But oh, I, I it's absolutely be. and totally and completely agree with you. If Cincinnati does not get to the conference final, done. He's out. I, I really from and I believe Marvin Lewis be, is right? out. But didn't Marvin Lewis just sign another like yeah, extension? They, keep keeping what him. What the fuck's going on with that? But I think that Marvin Lewis is a product of we drafted Andy Dalton. Like he's stuck with Andy Dalton. Like I think it's going to come to a point. But where, if you're the owner of the Bengals, you hired this boy, yeah. this guy, eight years ago. Yep. Right? Has it been eight years? It's been pretty long, right? Yep. Because the, the 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 Ravens won in 04, right? It's been quite a while. Yeah, it's been almost ten years that he's, he's been, been there. there. Yeah, he's been pretty much a long term coach over there. That's you know. a long time to give a guy without getting you to the promised land. It but is. but that so he's my is... number one on the hottest seat this year. I think Andy Dalton this year is I have on to the hot seat. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna number with you there. two. My number two guy right here. You're from your St. Louis Rams, Sam Bradford, right? I mean, how long are we going to give this kid? Mm. He's the one of the last quarterbacks drafted that got the big bonus. Remember when they cut the salaries? He got huge money. They re-signed this kid, number one uh, overall pick in 2010. Compiled a record of 18-30-1 so far. Okay, he's only been in the league. Never leading the team to the postseason. I understand that. He's only been – look at – A, look at the division he plays in. B, he's on his third coach in four years. Okay, and he lost a whole season because he was injured. I'm gonna give him a, I'm gonna give him a pass, like a two year pass. Okay. Okay, not this year. I don't think this year's make or break, but you know, unfortunately, that franchise is sitting in the toughest division in football right now. Um, he, he, Fisher's only been there one year. I'm, I'm gonna give him. him one I'm gonna give him a pass for at least one year, maybe okay. even two. But uh, so you're after done that, with, you're done with Dalton. Bradford, you're going to sit another year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah this Johnny is, Box, yeah. Bradford, are you a believer? I mean, is this kid done? Is, is he I, finally I, got a good coach? Yeah. I'll give uh, Bradford one more year, but Dalton, man, I can't. Yeah, you're yeah, right you're about done with him. him, right? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm completely done. done with him. And you Bradford, just hate the Bengals, period. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Bradford, yeah, maybe one more year. One more, one year? more year? Okay. Number three. Number three here, coming back to the quarterbacks, Jake Locker. I mean, this kid, I mean, God. has a lot of talent, but just seems to get hurt. Right when things are clicking, he gets three or four good games. Something happens. Mm-hmm. Jake Locker, though, with the Titans. Uh, first round selection in 2011. Is this guy ever going to put it together? Is he just one of those guys that just uh, just never really again, happened? You again, know? Josh, again, I think he's with his third coach in four years. You know, his first year, you can't really count because I mean, he, you he have had big discussions on this. Your career, no matter how good you are, is determined on who you're drafted by. Absolutely. There's absolutely no freaking right? doubt about it. Joe Montana goes to the Saints. He's, he's a different he's a team, dog. right? He's a dog, yeah. yeah. Steve Young, now we all know how good Steve Young was, right? His years in Tampa Bay were just ridiculous. He's lucky he made it out of there alive. Yeah. So it, it definitely, definitely matters who you get drafted by. Who your coaches are. I think another example got drafted later in the in the rounds with Aaron Rodgers. If he's not drafted by the Packers, Again, yeah. I don't think he's Aaron Rodgers that we see now. Sure. Absolutely. Same I, thing with Tom Brady. <laughs> I don't think Tom Brady, he gets drafted by the Chiefs or even say the Eagles at that time. Agreed. He's, he's not gonna be the Tom he's Brady. He's a perfect is now. quarterback for that system. It all depends on where you go, who your coaches are. So Jake is, what's Locker, are you on. done? Is this guy forgotten? I mean, do you think he could really you love him. I know you love Jake him from Lock- Washington. Jake Locker's like that high school quarterback who just isn't good enough, but he's really the only person you got yeah. on the team. I, yeah. yeah. He's like, put me in, coach. I can do it. I, no, I like him because, point, I like him because he's tough as nails. He's, I, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. Like he wants it. He wants it. He's it, just not good Would enough. it be a yeah. word be serviceable? Like he's a serviceable quarterback? Yes. Like He's a Trent Dilfer with, with running ability. So you're saying yeah. he can win you a Super Bowl? No. With the right I, defense? No? I, no, I don't okay. I don't think so. Not down there, no. All right. And you have to understand, he had knucklehead Chris Johnson who just yeah. just disappeared Took a shit on after him. After a year and a half, yeah. You know, and there's some injuries down there. Tough place to play. Um I think he's a great backup quarterback, but no, I think he's done. Okay. Yeah, All right. I don't Number see him four. making it. Number four coming up here, your boy. Another At- one of my boys. Atlanta Falcons running back this year, Steven Jackson. Fuck him. <laughs> I almost lost my headphones. <laughs> Enough said. Don't need to go any farther than that. Fuck him. 
You want me to, I'm gonna drop a suck my balls for him. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, so you done with him? Steven Jackson done, right? Done. 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 Doesn't do anything for the Falcons this year. Nope. Gets hurt three games in. Johnny, Steven Jackson, he done in your eyes. Done. Done. Wow, <laughs> putting him in the ground. That was in depth analysis by the both of us, huh? All right, what? <laughs> oh, that's me. I'm sorry. Wow. Um, all right, next wow. up here, Buffalo. At least some careless whisper if you're gonna put some <laughs> music out there. Come on. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I love how we just Ignorance go on random design. interruptions of, of segments. We just go There's off in no tangent. There's comfort in the truth. This one's going to be cru- – just goes back to Johnny's boys right here. Ooh. Buffalo Bills okay. running back C.J. Spiller. God. This kid has so much talent. God. So much talent. But he can't stay on the field. God. Can't stay on the field, and, knocker. You know what? And is that a result of his team being bad, or is that just a result of just – bad luck and, and it's just not going to happen for him yeah you have to wonder man is it just he just gets hit, hit so many times and the numbers you know 2012 you hit so many times 2012 he had the big year six yards per carry right. average right uh only gained 933 yards on the ground though because of injury ankle injury these injuries keep piling up is, is he just one of these guys that you know no i'm i think he's stories. still i think he's still young enough and talented enough to make something happen uh, I think if EJ Manuel stays on the field, I think Buffalo's actually building something good over there. Okay. So I, I'm going to give him a pass again, a one year pass, maybe a two year pass. Um, if he can stay healthy, I think he brings you big, big yardage. Okay, Box, what do you think about Spiller? I mean, I know you you got kind of the feel of the Buffalo crowd here. I know they've been looking at this kid to just you know he could really carry the team, but he can't stay on the field. Spiller, man, are you guys done with? But you think Buffalo should give up on this kid, or has yeah. he still got another year in him? No, he's definitely got another year in okay. him. Okay, uh, I really like him. Uh, I mean, this guy—he—he's carrying a lot of the weight, on, uh, you know, on his shoulders mm-hmm. from his team, especially um, with Manuel going down. Yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah, I mean, with the the mix-up in quarterbacks last year. And, yeah, you know, with Fitzpatrick, you know, moving over, and then Manuel getting. Oh, nerd. your boy. Yeah, your boy. He just—it wasn't <laughs> a good year for him. So. No, Johnny loves Fitzpatrick. I fuck him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we'll move on. Him and, him, uh, and, him and Luzman. <laughs> Number six. JP Luz- JP Luzman. Luzman. It's not Luzman, it's Luzman. Yeah, it's Luzman. Luzman. All right. How about this one, boys? How about this one for you? Indianapolis Colts, Trent Richardson. One of the biggest wow. trades from last year. This guy was what supposed a to be. Bust. I mean, huge for Cleveland. He had maybe one good year. Trade him away. Cleveland got the the benefit of that yeah, trade yeah, big time with a couple first round picks sure didn't did. do much for Indy last year I mean is this we've seen what happened with right now with the NFL it's become a passing game have we seen the last of some great running backs I mean are is it now like okay we're gonna go with a two three man system let's get two three mm-hmm. good guys instead of one great guy and put all our eggs in one basket I, th- I think there's something wrong man I, I do I-, I think he's done I do. I'm, Richardson's I'm, yeah, done. I You're done on me. Trent Richardson. Yeah, I really he's dead am. to you in DTM. Okay. Yeah, I, I really do. That that's where I'm going with him. Just it's just not happening, dude. And and it follows you around. Johnny. It, it really does. Thoughts? Uh sorry. Trent Richardson's okay. You think he's done, man? Big uh, trade Cleveland to Indy. Uh yeah, he's done. Done? Yeah, done. Putting him in the ground. Dunskies. Okay, now going to number eight. Number eight. Number eight here, knocker. Giants fan, call him for this one. Bitch. Bitch, now to the Indianapolis Colts, but last year on the Giants, Hakeem Nix. Mm-hmm. Again, another guy with a load of talent just can't seem to stay on the field and not, uh, you know, avoid those injuries. But signs with the Colts. Now he's going to be playing with Andrew Luck. Uh, he had, again, one of those good, great seasons, but never really had one after that. I love him in that system. So do I. I see big I think things. he bounced back. Reggie here. Wayne. I'm I think he's got Reggie this. Wayne written all over And you know why? Giants him. fan, because he's not playing with Eli. <laughs> Bitch. Suck it. He just lost your best receiver. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, I, I think big things are going to happen for okay. him in that offense with Andrew Luck. He doesn't have to carry the weight. You know, I, I really think that, yeah, he's got Reggie Wayne. They could put Reggie Wayne's jersey on him, and that that's what's going to happen over there in Indy. Box, Hakeem Nicks bounce back this year for the with the Colts? Oh, no, 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 no. No, really? he's done. No, he's done. He's wow. Done. Okay. He lost Box it. says he lost no. It way back, way back in the day with the Giants. Okay. Wow. Box right. says right. no. Box Yet. says no. All right, guys. Nine. Uh, that's been another fantastic show. Uh, we appreciate it. Are checking we over in. already? Yeah, we're over. It's already. We're putting past the time now. Damn, man. Buck so, is just kicking in. I'm ready to go for another well, hour. We got or so, the ice man. box. We got ice box. Okay. Coming all right. In, so we're good. So all right, guys. Check out the ice box tonight. Again, about a half an hour on LuckyIceBox.com. 
Again, <laughs> limited tickets. What? <laughs> I know. Limited Why? tickets. Why are we all itching? Limited <laughs> tickets. <laughs> limited tickets for uh, Sportscast Golf Tourney coming up oh, yeah. August Oh, 16th. yeah. It, it, it's closing fast, bros. You I'm better get you, signed up you and paid. Get, you heard Mark Long earlier. It's going to be one of the best events of the year. Uh, get your tickets now. It's only $85. Sign up at thenewsportsgroup.com. Listen, get I got your a, own force. I got a bunch of my buddies. I emailed a bunch of my buddies yeah. asking them if I wanted to play in this thing. And none of them have gotten back to me yet. What a bunch of assholes, right? No, seriously. So listen, if you guys fucking sign up right now, you might, I might have to play with somebody. Yeah, yeah. Johnny might, might have, have a new threesome, man. Johnny's That's selling his threesome. body out I don't know there. yet. Johnny's yeah. selling his golfing soul. He's selling his out, golf slots. Wow. Up. What a, oh, yeah. what a golf up. slut you are. You're just selling yourself? Hey, listen. Well, I, fuck them. If they don't yeah, pay and fine. sign up, yeah. fuck them. Listen. It's my friends who are assholes, right? They could have gotten back to me and said, hey. It's we're... only been six weeks. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, even that's Jersey slow. But that's, you know, geez, come on. It's fantastic time. We're playing the course this weekend. Yes, we are. We'll Saturday. Observation. So, yep. again, check us out on iTunes, guys. Tell a friend. Buy your Sportscast t-shirt today. Uh, we'll be back next week, Thursday, 6 to 7, same time, same place. Thank you, Johnny Icebox on the one and twos. Knocker, I hate you as usual. <laughs> we'll be back next week. Love you Adios. all. Adios.